Hello, my name is Shiho Chang and this is Baxter International's company background, vision, mission, and objectives analysis. Our main objective as a team in this first workbook was to figure out our company's history and what their mission and goals were. We took a deep dive into Baxter's history since the very beginning and their most recent history in the last five years. Each of us were assigned to curate three resource records where we found articles, videos, or podcasts based on Baxter's most recent endeavors. We examined their recent annual 10K report and developed a ratio analysis as well. We figured out what Baxter's mission objectives were and their main customers, their needs, challenges, and problems coinciding with it. Baxter International's history prior to the last five years goes as far as 1931, where doctors Ralph Falk and Don Baxter launched Don Baxter Intravenous Products Corporation. In 1952, they became the first U.S. company to make commercially available human plasma, which was a huge innovation for the healthcare industry at the time. They also were the first commercial manufacturer of prepared IV solutions, which allowed them to go international in 1954. Then in 1956, they developed the first artificial kidney, and in 1970, as pictured here, the Viaflex, the first flexible plastic IV container, was introduced. They continued to make innovations throughout the 80s and 90s and the early 2000s until in 2011, Baxter Ventures was launched and they continued to spread their reach throughout the world to develop new technology and innovations in the healthcare industry. Baxter's mission statement, as stated on their website, is to save and sustain lives. The global impact of their products, presence, and activities will always be assessed through this lens. Baxter believes that all patients deserve access to care that will support the best possible outcomes. In terms of customers, computer software, and hospitals and healthcare are the most prominent companies and most important that invest in Baxter's products. Customer challenges and problems could include supply chain issues during difficult times such as the COVID-19 pandemic and lack of raw materials used for production. Approximately, there are 1,079 companies that use Baxter Healthcare, and these companies reach out to patients in need of medical assistance. Baxter applies an expertise in medical devices, pharmaceuticals, and biotechnology to create products that advance patient care worldwide. Baxter's objectives include ex executing a long-term strategy to achieve sustainable growth and deliver enhanced stockholder value. On top of this, they like to improve their gross margin and, most importantly, optimize their core portfolio globally. They could do this by investing for the long term, which would encourage higher margin growth, optimize return on investment, and maintain or enhance market position. They can also sustain or reposition underlying investments that they've been dealing with and evaluate their market position and investment strategy as a whole. Another strategy they would like to focus on is to maintain a disciplined and balanced approach to capital allocation. They like to reinvest, they should reinvest in the business by funding opportunities that are positioned to deliver sustainable growth, support innovation efforts, and improving margin perform performance. They can also return capital to stockholders through dividends, which is expected to meaningfully increase with earnings growth share repurchases. And finally, they can identify and pursue a accretive merger and acquisitions. This is the ratio analysis that one of our team members calculated after reviewing back to his most recent 10K. The ratio for the last three months, which ended in September 30th, 2021, was 2.37 in their most recent quarter. Their current quick assets is at 1.79, the debt to equity ratio is at 0.62, and their account receivables is at $2,077,000. Their price earnings ratio was at 35.74 as of January 27, 2022, and their earnings per share for the quarter ending September 30, 2021 was 89 cents, and for the 12 months ending at September 30, 2021 was $2.38. The return on assets was 6.21%, and the total assets at $19.81 billion.